Hello and welcome to Cannes. This is the first official day of International Real Estate Fair, MIPM. I'm reporting here for the 13th year in a row, something of a MIPM veteran. My two colleagues here are joining for the very first time. Now, prop tech was a big subject of conversation last year at MIPM. This year, we expect that to continue to be a big theme along with innovation. As it happens, Jacopo de Toni, deputy editor of FDI, wrote a cover story for this month's issue of the magazine talking about developments in prop tech, GIS mapping tools, and the impact they're having on corporate site selection. Tell us a little bit about what you found. Right, Courtney, this is definitely true. So investment promotion and has never, in a way, been at the frontier of innovation development. Uh, but now innovation is happening on the ground among investment promotion agencies across the world, particularly in North America, where uh, most of EPAs already use, uh, well, obviously, they, they, they develop a very good website, but also, uh, apart from digital marketing, or part of their digital marketing strategies now has become a GIS uh, tools, geo-mapping tools, which, in a way, make it easier for them to showcase their properties, but also to showcase uh, the other factors like uh, uh, availability of uh, workforce, uh, salaries, uh, local inflation, economic growth. So it's definitely a good way for them to get in touch with site selectors, uh, get, like, uh, give them a first idea, first impression of local communities, and in a way to start, uh, to start a discussion about a possible investment. This is, is already very popular among EPAs in the US, which in a way they are public-private uh, partnerships where Whereas elsewhere in Europe or elsewhere in the world where IPAs, they generally tend to be like state or public, pure public entities, they've been slower in catching up, adjusting to these new technologies, but they are catching up. We, we have seen a number of IPAs in Europe, that they are adopting JS tools in one way or another. And they are adopting other prop tech innovations, again, to, 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 to better match their offer with the demand in the market. And MIPIM, uh, as far as I know, as far as I'm told, is definitely a good place for developers to showcase their, their latest innovations. So looking forward to, to have a, a better glimpse into that. Absolutely. And it's really all about harnessing technology and these new tools to better express what location has to offer investors and yeah. providing investors the right information. Now, Sebastian Shihadi, new to the FDI Magazine team and new to MIPM, what will you be looking at and what do you expect here? I expect investors to be optimistic in 2018 as 2017 witnessed record high um, investment into real estate, greenfield investment into real estate, according to our data. Um, more specifically, project numbers hit their highest, that was 613 total globally, since that's their highest since 2008. Um, so that's looking great since the, the 2000, since the financial crisis. This trend is driven actually by European um, uh, FDI into real estate, which is the focus at this conference, albeit a global one. Um, so European um, FDI into real estate hit its highest in terms of project number and CapEx. Um, CapEx was 37 billion um, last year. So um, I expect I expect people to be optimistic. And I think this trend is reflected by the fact that attendees at MIPEM have hit their highest um, ever uh, this year, aug augmented um, since, uh, year on year. And um, for example, we've already seen um, the UK's Midlands, uh, Midlands unveil a 10 billion uh, pound project, dollar project. Um, so it's a good start. It's a very good start. And as we can see, there there is some liquidity out there. There are some real deals being done. And we're expecting a bullish mood, but we'll of course be canvassing delegates and city and regional leaders, as well as corporate occupiers to read the mood, see where the market is headed. And you can follow all of our coverage on www.fdiintelligence.com. Thank you.